In the beginning, like many eager investors, I was captivated by charts and graphs. I thought I could predict the market's every move by studying technical patterns. I was wrong. This approach led to some early missteps and valuable lessons. I realized that relying solely on technical analysis was like trying to predict the weather by looking at a weather vane. It ignored the fundamental factors driving the market. One particular experience stands out. I invested in a company called Geico based purely on its stock chart. The chart looked promising, showing an upward trend. However, I failed to delve into the company's financials or understand its underlying business. As it turned out, Geico was facing significant challenges at the time. The stock price plummeted, and I learned a hard lesson about the limitations of technical analysis. This experience was a turning point. It forced me to reevaluate my entire approach to investing. I realized that true success in the market required a deeper understanding of businesses, their intrinsic value, and the factors that drive their long-term growth. This realization led me on a search for a more sound and reliable investment philosophy. Little did I know that this search would lead me to the doorstep of a man who would become my mentor and forever change the way I viewed investing. My investment philosophy underwent a profound transformation when I discovered the works of Benjamin Graham. His book, The Intelligent Investor, became my investment bible. Graham's teachings resonated deeply with me. He emphasized the importance of fundamental analysis, focusing on a company's intrinsic value rather than its stock price fluctuations. Graham introduced me to the concept of Mr. Market. He described Mr. Market as an emotional entity, prone to irrational exuberance and pessimism. He taught me that instead of being swayed by Mr. Market's mood swings, investors should view them as opportunities. When Mr. Market is pessimistic, he offers you the chance to buy undervalued businesses. When he's overly optimistic, you can sell. Graham's philosophy provided me with a framework for rational and disciplined investing. It shifted my focus from short-term market fluctuations to the long-term value of businesses. This shift in perspective became the cornerstone of my investment success. Inspired by Graham's teachings, I set out to apply his principles in the real world. I sought out undervalued companies with strong fundamentals, businesses that were trading below their intrinsic worth. This approach, known as value investing, became my guiding light. Value investing, as I learned from Graham, is about owning a piece of a business, not just a stock certificate. It's about understanding the company's operations, its competitive landscape, and its long-term prospects. When you buy a stock, you're not just buying a ticker symbol, you're becoming a part owner of that business. I learned to look beyond the daily stock market noise and focus on the underlying fundamentals of a company. What products or services does it offer? Who are its competitors? What is its management team like? These are the questions that truly matter. One of the key principles of value investing is the margin of safety. This means buying a stock at a price significantly lower than its intrinsic value. This margin of safety provides a cushion against unforeseen circumstances or errors in judgment. Value investing is not about trying to time the market or predict short-term price movements. It's about identifying undervalued businesses and holding them for the long term, allowing the power of compounding to work its magic. My investment philosophy has always been deeply rooted in my belief in the resilience and dynamism of the American economy. Throughout its history the United States has consistently overcome challenges and emerged stronger. This enduring strength stems from its entrepreneurial spirit, its innovative capacity, and its commitment to free markets. I've always been drawn to businesses that embody these American values, companies that are built to last, that provide essential goods and services, and that constantly strive for innovation. These are the companies that have the potential to generate long-term value for their shareholders. One of my earliest and most successful investments was in a company called Geico, an auto insurance provider. I was impressed by Geico's low-cost business model and its potential for growth. This investment, made decades ago, has generated extraordinary returns for Berkshire Hathaway and its shareholders. Section 5, Betting on America's Enduring Strength my optimism about the American economy extends beyond individual companies. I believe in the long-term growth potential of the overall market, as represented by broad market indexes like the S&P 500. The S&P 500 represents a diversified basket of 500 of America's largest and most successful companies. 
Investing in the S&P 500 is a bet on the continued success of American innovation and ingenuity. Over the long term, the U.S. economy has consistently trended upwards and I believe this trend will continue. While there will always be short-term fluctuations in economic cycles, I am confident that the American entrepreneurial spirit will continue to drive growth and prosperity. This belief has been a cornerstone of my investment strategy. Section 6. Patience, the investor's greatest ally. In the world of investing, patience is not just a virtue, it's a necessity. The market can be irrational in the short term, but it tends to reward those who can see beyond the noise and focus on the long game. Too often, investors get caught up in the excitement of the moment, chasing after the latest hot stock or trying to time the market. This approach is often driven by emotion rather than logic, and it rarely leads to long-term success. Value investing, on the other hand, requires patience and discipline. It means being willing to hold on to your investments even when the market is volatile, knowing that the underlying businesses are sound. It means resisting the urge to react to every market fluctuation and trusting in your long-term strategy. Section 7. The Simplicity of Index Funds For the average investor, I believe that the simplest and most effective way to build wealth in the market is through low-cost index funds. Index funds offer a diversified portfolio of stocks that track a specific market index, such as the S&P 500. Index funds provide several key advantages. First, they offer instant diversification, spreading your risk across hundreds of companies. Second, they have very low fees, which can significantly impact your returns over time. Third, they are incredibly easy to manage, requiring minimal effort on the part of the investor. By investing consistently in index funds over the long term, investors can participate in the growth of the overall market without having to pick individual stocks or time the market. This approach is simple, effective, and accessible to anyone. Section 8. Tuning out the market noise. One of the biggest challenges for investors is tuning out the constant barrage of market noise. Every day, we are bombarded with news headlines, analyst predictions, and expert opinions, all claiming to have the inside track on the market. It's easy to get caught up in this noise and make impulsive investment decisions based on fear or greed. However, it's important to remember that most of this noise is just that, noise. It's often driven by short-term events or market sentiment and has little bearing on the long-term value of your investments. Instead of trying to digest every piece of market news, I encourage investors to focus on the fundamentals of their investments. Pay attention to the companies you own, their earnings reports, and their long-term prospects. By focusing on the signal and ignoring the noise, you can make more rational and informed investment decisions. Section 9. The Indispensable Mindset of an Investor Successful investing is as much about mindset as it is about strategy. It requires patience, discipline, and the ability to control your emotions. When the market is volatile, it's easy to get caught up in the fear and panic. However, it's precisely during these times that a calm and rational mindset is most crucial. One of the most important qualities for an investor is temperament. You need to be able to control your emotions and avoid making impulsive decisions based on fear or greed. When the market is down, it's tempting to sell everything and cut your losses. But if you've invested in sound businesses, the best course of action is often to do nothing. Remember that the market is a mechanism for transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. By staying focused on your long-term goals and ignoring the short-term fluctuations, you can weather the storms and come out ahead. Section 10. The Enduring Power of Value Investing Value investing, the philosophy I learned from Benjamin Graham, has stood the test of time. It's a strategy based on sound principles, buying undervalued assets, focusing on long-term value, and managing risk through diversification and a margin of safety. While market trends may come and go, the principles of value investing remain timeless. They are as relevant today as they were decades ago. In a world of instant gratification and short-term thinking, value investing offers a refreshing alternative, a patient and disciplined approach to building wealth over the long term. Section 11, a legacy built on sound principles. As I reflect on my decades in the market, I am grateful for the lessons I've learned and the opportunities I've had to invest in great American businesses. 
My investment philosophy has always been guided by a few core principles, patience, discipline, and a belief in the enduring power of the American economy. I believe that the principles of value investing combined with a long-term perspective and a focus on sound businesses offer the best path to financial success in the market. While there will always be challenges and uncertainties, I'm confident that those who adhere to these principles will be well rewarded over time. My hope is that my experience and insights will inspire a new generation of investors to embrace the principles of value investing and to participate in the growth and prosperity of the American economy.